Well, all right, it is Friday. Time for the weekend wrap up. So we finished up pretty much all the body work on David Suburban. Got these uh, doors and primer this week. I finished up the back seat prepping it and actually got some paint on this. At least the front end parts. We come in here and take a little peek. This is a tri-coat color, meaning it has a base coat, a mid coat, and a clear coat. I don't know that the camera is going to do it justice, but it is a beautiful color. And I got to tell you that hood is like the size of a damn aircraft carrier. <laughs> but uh, she came out really pretty. Oh, yeah. A little tight in here, so sorry about the close up, but. <laughs> This is basically the front end. As you can see, the front end of this thing pretty much took up the entire booth. Um, it's a, quite a large vehicle, <laughs> to say the least. But uh, got the seat backs, the cowl, the whole front end painted. So that's pretty much all set for them. And now we'll work on getting the rest of the body finished prepped up and get that thing ready for paint. So uh, won't be long now. And we did some work on Bob's COE up here, so let's take a little wander through the shop here. We'll go up front. Been working on the uh, console on Bob's truck. And the idea behind that console was to kind of incorporate the roll cage in with the console. So uh, the tubes will remain painted the same color as the roll bar. And then uh, the center, the insides will be the same color as the dash and the exterior of the, the vehicle. So we got all that welded in solid inside there, got the dash face fitted. Um, I will probably hydro dip the dash face with uh, probably carbon fiber and then the dash itself and the center of the console there will be uh, an orange, a bright orange color. So we got the roll cage all completed. And I got a little bit more on the top of that console. I'm going to put a nice door in there to, uh, you know, a lid. But it's all welded solid all the way around, so uh, it has become very stout. Um, one of the big problems with these big flat nose uh, COEs is the frontal impact on these is pretty devastating. It either throws the passengers through the windshield or caves in the front on your legs. So uh, the roll cage on this definitely stiffened up that front end a little bit. Got some strength in there. Um, gave them a little more protection. That roll cage goes all the way down and ties into the frame. So, uh, made it pretty stout. And that's 16 gauge, so it's pretty stout metal. So it kind of gives it like a girder down the center of the cab. Makes it a lot stronger. So that's our weekly progress. Uh, we're moving along. So you guys uh, stay tuned, check back with us on Friday, and we will have some more progress. Meanwhile, you guys have a good day, enjoy yourself, and be safe.